Do you enjoy cross-stitching and want to use AI tools to create designs perfect for it? With our cross-stitch prompt builder, you can craft vector-like images with solid colors, clean shapes, and bold lines, ideal for converting into cross-stitch patterns. Whether you're new to cross-stitching or AI, this tool makes it easy to create professional patterns ready to use or sell. Welcome digital artists. I'm Galia from AI Creative Tools. Today, we're introducing the Cross-Stitch Prompt Builder, a powerful tool specifically designed to create images perfect for transforming into cross-stitch patterns. After extensive research in this field, we've gained a deep understanding of what works well for these prompts and designs and what could undermine your efforts. Here's an important tip for your cross-stitch design prompts. Whether you're using our prompt builder or crafting your own prompts, avoid using the words cross-stitch in your text. If you include these words, Mid-Journey will attempt to generate an image that looks like a finished cross-stitch pattern, which is not what we want. While the result might look like a cross-stitch pattern, this image won't be usable for this purpose. Instead, we aim to create something like this, and you'll learn exactly how to achieve it in just a moment. Creating a professional cross-stitch pattern involves three steps. Craft a prompt for your design by yourself or using our prompt builder. Generate images using Midjourney or another text-to-image AI generator. Import your image to flosscross.com and convert it into a ready-to-use cross-stitch pattern. On screen, you'll see how the cross-stitch prompt builder works, showcasing its simplicity and efficiency in crafting prompts. If you're just starting out, don't worry. Our prompt builder basics guide is the perfect place to begin for a detailed walkthrough of the tool. If you're using the pro version, take advantage of the Enhance with ChatGPT button to generate prompt variations. These will be better suited for platforms like Dolly, Ideogram, Leonardo, and Flux. Here are images produced by different AI generators using prompts from the Cross Stitch Builder. We also demonstrate how to convert these images into cross-stitch patterns. Simply go to flosscross.com, import your image, and adjust the number of stitches, colors, and other details. Once you're satisfied with the adjustments, download your pattern as a PDF, ready for crafting. As you can see, the process is straightforward and ensures fantastic results. Let's dive into the layout of the cross-stitch prompt builder. The tool is divided into four key sections, design, text, style, and parameters, with text section and certain dropdowns exclusive to the pro version. Each choice you make in all the dropdowns directly updates your final prompt, which defaults to vector design as the starting digital product type. The theme and digital product selections play a vital role in achieving the right result, so choose wisely. To guide you, our visual examples sheet offers sample outputs for each available theme. We've curated 42 themes that are ideal for cross-stitch designs, organized by seasons, holidays, culture, epoch, and genre. You can also select from four shapes to customize your designs. If you're looking for something unique, you can add your own custom themes in the Custom Details field within the object block or through the Pro Versions Custom Options table. The digital product dropdown provides 13 different format options. These product types ensure the images have solid colors, clean shapes, and bold lines, just right for adapting into cross-stitch patterns. As you can see in the visual examples sheet, we display not only the AI-generated image, but also the resulting cross-stitch pattern once the image is converted. Very convenient to see the final result as well. When creating a character, focus primarily on the object object details, and activity pose clothes dropdowns. You can also describe your character in the custom text field, which will be added before the selected object if both are used. For additional details, you can include extra elements in the secondary custom text field. If you want your character to appear on a plain white background, simply select the appropriate option in the background dropdown. You can further customize the character's view or vibe using the dropdown for atmosphere vibe view. For more abstract designs like patterns, skip the character building dropdowns. Instead, focus on the background and atmosphere vibe view dropdowns to create your design. 
Also, don't miss the interesting other options in the Atmosphere Vibe View dropdown. For instance, you can place your objects in a jar or enhance your design with surrounding elements. Selecting as a symbol prompts Midjourney to create a simpler, more minimalist image. While choosing as tiles together with vector icon set from the digital product dropdown generates a mosaic of evenly spaced similar objects, perfect for intricate pattern designs. The text section is intuitive. You can enter your text in the custom field and adjust its position and appearance through the text features dropdown. For designs with significant typography elements, we recommend exploring other text-to-image AI generators besides Midjourney to achieve the best results. Next, let's dive into the Style section, where you can refine both colors and styles. The color palette determines the overall tone, such as contrast or light, while the color preset specifies particular shades like warm-toned or rainbow. Each new prompt builder introduces unique presets tailored to its theme, in the cross-stitch prompt builder, you'll find generic presets, striking high contrast options, and beautifully curated mood board color schemes. If needed, you can prioritize your own custom colors by adding them to the respective field. The basic style dropdown lets you shape the overall design aesthetic, from abstract to cartoonish and beyond. For cross-stitch designs, we suggest including terms like 2D flat, minimalistic, or simple, in every prompt for optimal results. The art style dropdown provides various creative directions, with examples showcased in our visual examples sheet. We highly recommend exploring the folk art style for its unique charm and timeless appeal in cross-stitch pattern domain. Meanwhile, the style details dropdown adds specific nuances such as symmetrical or cross-stitch relevant trends like Nordic motifs, enhancing your project further. If you're using the basic version, the style details dropdown isn't included, but you can still customize your designs by adding personal touches in the custom style or details text field. The parameter section in the cross stitch prompt builder is simple and easy to use. You can switch between mid journey versions, adjust the aspect ratio, or modify the level of detail with stylized values. Additionally, you can add terms for negative prompting. If you're aiming for simpler images, consider lowering the stylized values below the default 100. However, keep in mind that this approach may cause Midjourney to put in less effort, resulting in slightly rougher outputs. On the other hand, higher stylized values often produce stunning results, even if they come with more intricate details. The Pro version offers even more customization options, including fields for image, character, and style references, as well as dedicated cells for custom parameters. These fields allow you to define specific aspect ratios, chaos levels, repetition counts, personalization codes, and other details. You can also refine your prompts further by adding complex negative prompts to exclude unwanted elements. For additional guidance on using Midjourney's parameters, we recommend checking out our Midjourney starting guide, prompt builder basics, and pro features guides available on our website. Enough theory. Let's create something from scratch using the three steps mentioned earlier. This hands-on approach will help you understand how the prompt builder works and how it can help you craft the prompts and images you've been dreaming of. I'll guide you through three different methods to kickstart your design process. Find inspiration from the visual examples sheet. If I were you, the first thing I'd do after purchasing a prompt builder is explore the visual examples sheet. It's packed with presets, digital products, themes, and art styles. I'm confident everyone can find their starting point or spark some ideas from this variety. Browsing these examples helps you understand the kind of outcomes the builder is tailored to create and, of course, serves as a great source of inspiration. The best part? Each example includes the exact prompt used to generate it. For this example, Let's create a design in a trendy folk art style. Our starting prompt will be Vector Design Folk Art Style, version 6.1. I'll now fill in the builder accordingly. For the object, I'll choose an owl. Next, I'll run the simple prompt on the official Midjourney website. Or, if you're using Discord, 
just type the prompt after the slash imagine command. Once I see the initial images, I can make adjustments to the prompt in the builder if needed. For instance, I like the initial result, but it feels a bit too dark for my taste. So I'll make some tweaks to the prompt. I'll add a round composition, a light background, and symmetry for a cleaner look. And here's the final result. The first image is absolutely stunning. Now, let's see how it transforms into a cross-stitch pattern. Very nice, wouldn't you agree? I'm thrilled with how it turned out. Let ChatGPT do the job. To get started, you'll need to select at least one element. ChatGPT won't work properly if the result prompt cell is empty. We already have a digital product selected, which is a good start, but it feels a bit too random for my taste. To refine it, I'll add a baby raccoon as the object. Next, I simply click the Enhance with ChatGPT button and let the AI generate a detailed prompt for me. I paste the prompt into Midjourney and the results are quite cute, but they're also a bit too detailed and too dark for this purpose. The first one is still quite nice though. To improve it further, I'll go back to the builder and make a few adjustments, adding a white background and some flowers for a lighter, softer vibe. After that, I generate a new prompt variation with ChatGPT, hoping for something less detailed this time. And now, these results are truly adorable and much brighter. The first one is definitely my favorite. Let's see how it looks as a cross-stitch pattern. Perfect. I really like how this turned out. Pick a preset and make it your own. Each prompt builder comes with at least eight preset example prompts, conveniently accessible from the preset drop-down list. The resulting images for these presets are displayed in the visual examples sheet, so you can easily see what each prompt can create. These presets are carefully designed to showcase the potential of the prompt builder, giving you a great starting point. Simply pick the one you like and customize it further to suit your needs. For this example, I'll start with the first preset, tweak the colors and add a cute kitten as my object. The changes make the design more vibrant and playful and the kitten adds an adorable touch. If you're using the basic version, you can still recreate these presets by manually selecting the corresponding terms from the dropdowns. Alternatively, you can copy the preset prompts directly from the visual examples sheet and make any desired adjustments manually after pasting the prompt into Midjourney. The screenshots here show the prompt builder selections and the resulting images for each preset. These examples are a great source of inspiration and give you a head start on your creative journey. Have fun exploring all the possibilities. The Prompt Builder generates prompts that work seamlessly across various text-to-image AI tools, such as DAL-E, Ideogram, Leonardo, and Flux. However, be aware that the same prompt can produce different results on each platform due to variations in their training datasets. For the cross-stitch theme, we especially recommend experimenting with tools like Ideogram and Flux. Both are free to try and deliver excellent outcomes, particularly with vector-based and typography designs. To get the best results on all platforms, we suggest using the Enhance with ChatGPT feature in the Pro version. It refines and enriches your prompts, making them more precise and adaptable for different AI tools. In fact, all the examples you see here were created from enhanced prompts. Now you're ready to start crafting amazing prompts with the cross-stitch prompt builder as well as stunning designs from these prompts. Best of luck for you to create your digital masterpieces. Let your creativity take flight.
All the images featured in this video were created in Midjourney, Dali, Ideogram, Leonardo, and Flux, using the Cross Stitch Pro Prompt Builder. The ready patterns were produced directly from these images using flosscross.com website. Check the video description for links to our website, Etsy shop, and other useful resources. Thank you for watching.